Hi everyone. I wanted to hop on here and <clears throat> just share with you my latest stencil release. Um, this is a stencil set that's very, very close to my heart. It is a set of three uh, six by six stencils and they all have um, <clears throat> encouraging words and phrases on them. So these have been on my mind for a long time, especially while working in my writing journals. I use words a lot and phrases, um, things that I like to have um, to encourage me through my artistic endeavors. And so when I finally got this set, I made sure to put all my favorite, either single words that inspire me or phrases. And I'm already writing down ones for my next set because I already know I wanna do another set. Um, but I wanted to share with you some of the ways that we can use sets like these. The one thing I will say is that on these sets, I designed them to have much bigger spaces around the phrases so that when you're using a blending tool, for example, you're not going to pick up the words next to it, which has always frustrated me. So the spaces on these are much, much broader. So there's room. Um, it just helps you to get a cleaner um, impression so you'll notice that there's just bigger spaces. And the other reason why I did that is just so I can break up the words more easily and mix and match them, which I like to do sometimes as well. So they're really fun to use on everything. And that's kind of just all I've been doing. Um, uh, they're also really great to um, trace through with a pen, which I didn't even think to do until recently. So you can trace through the stencil with like felt tip pens or gel pens, or you can stencil them with, um, you know, acrylic paint and a, a sponge applicator. But they're really cool. This one says, this is my authentic self. I can do this thing. Every day is a chance to begin again. I'm getting there. I love the snail because sometimes it feels like I'm going in circles and it's taking forever. My plan, abundance. And so again, just being able to play with them. So this was a linear um, phrase, but I was able to just put one word on top of the other and then add a new word. So you really can kind of play with them in a different way. And I wanted all the fonts to look a little different just for a variety um, so that I could cluster them together and they would have that kind of really cool, flowy, unique um, look. They're just so fun to play with. Fake it till you make it. That's like one of my key things. Um, there is no rush. I always feel so behind in my life. Um, so just super, super fun. And then I did a little quick video on my Instagram sharing, you know, you could always stencil these out on some paper and then cut them out and make little word things ahead of time to use in your mixed media projects, that kind of thing. Um, and then I've also been using these in another journal I'm working on from Fodder School. Um, and I'm adding them here and there in this journal too, which is just super fun. So just really cool. The other way that I like to use these is in my calendar journal. Um, you know, writing words is super important. Um, encouraging phrases in my calendar which this is my new one so I haven't even filled this yet I'm just getting it started but you know with my old calendar stencil 
I can block up the days, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I can get some inspirational phrases on there too, which is also something that I really like to do. So, you know, I can go in and stencil some cool, encouraging words. So my goal is to release <clears throat> more of these in the future. Um, just because already I'm like, oh, I forgot to put that down or I forgot that freeze. Um, so that way there's more variety. I just, it's such an essential part of how I work to always kind of remember my journey, um, positivity, inspiration, um, and things that I want to write about too when I'm working in my my writing journals, um, you know, there's words that I want to focus on. Um, and so it's just so important for me to have some sheets like these that I can add to my writing journals too. So they're great for mixed media, all kinds of art, bullet journaling. They're really fun to play around with. I haven't even tried these with some of the more special markers. Some some cool markers might even work with these, but definitely acrylic paints and felt tip pens work great. So I hope you enjoy these. They've been super, super inspiring to make. And um, definitely, you know, always tag me if you make stuff. Um, hashtag Meg Stencils. And um, can't wait to see what you create.